Hey you, what up? I'm Marian, welcome to my channel or welcome back. This look that you see on my face right now was completed using all new makeup from the drugstore. That's right. So in today's video, I am going to be testing all new drugstore makeup that I have been sent over the past couple of months or so. And I'm gonna be creating this look. I'm also gonna be judging the heck out of these products and giving you guys my first impressions verdict as well as elaborate on how some of these products were throughout the day. I will leave some comments below in case you guys are interested in some of these very viral products. I will be talking about the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder Foundation, as well as their concealer. Also this very viral NYX Marshmallow Primer that I've seen all over TikTok. Some Maybelline Lippies, some Pixie Pretties palettes, some Milani, some Rimmel, some Physicians Formula, and basically I'm going to deliver all of my thoughts and all of my commentary on all of these new drugstore makeup products. And with that said, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. Even if you don't get the notification though, just know that I upload every Wednesday and Sunday and I am going to continue doing so until further notice. And with that said, let's get into this video. All right, here we go. I have my cart right here in front of me. A lot of you guys asked about the cart, so I'm gonna pop up what it looks like. I'll also link it in the description so you can check it out in case you're interested. Basically, this is my new system that's allowing me to sort through all of my new incoming products and kind of organize them by face stuff, eye stuff, lip stuff, so on and so forth. So this cart of mine, it's pretty sizable, and so I definitely have loaded it with a bunch of drugstore products but it also has some other like luxury new products that I will be testing out in another video I have so much product that's kind of the reason why I decided to split the drugstore and the luxury into two videos so we'll see how it goes maybe I just might make it a series let me know what you think about that so my brows are already on they are done I used my new drugstore faves the NYX brow glue and lift and snatch brow tint pen you've seen this in my faves X fail video please focus no won't do it for me now you will all right so as I'm testing all these products keep in mind that these are my initial sort of um, thoughts and impressions and I will be testing them out further so be on the lookout for those faves X fails just to see which of these products make it to either one category all right enough talking Let's jump right into it the first product that I am going to be testing is a new primer and it's also from NYX the marshmallow primer I feel like this is kind of a viral product on TikTok. I've seen people talking about this one. I'm not really sure why it's viral, what's so great about it, but I did receive it in PR, so might as well test it out. Are we loving my little side bang jammies today? I don't even know what these are called, but my hair is really dirty. It's like three days old, so this is the best that I can do. Okay, let's test this out. Ooh. Moosey, creamy. Feels kind of cold on the skin. Very scented, very scented. Ooh, definitely smells like marshmallow or like candy or something very sugary. I don't know if I like, but the glide on the face is very nice. Feels just a little bit cooling, pinch sticky. I'm gonna try to blend this side out with my fingers just to really get a sense for what this feels like. I don't know, I think better with a brush. This brush that I'm using here is amazing. It's from Rare Beauty, it's their foundation brush. Not from the drugstore, but I don't think it's a super high-end luxury price. I think Rare Beauty is moderately priced, though definitely not drugstore prices. I'll link this brush below in case you guys are interested in checking it out. And may I remind you that all the products that I'm gonna be using and testing, I will be linking below. These are my affiliate links. So I do get a small commission if in fact you decide to purchase from these links, but know that you are not obligated to buy anything from my links. Just think of these as just like my referral commissions. And of course, if you want to buy to support my channel, feel free and buy. Next up, I am very, very excited to test out this new drugstore powder foundation, you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking me to review this L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in a powder product. And you already know, I've been searching for a good powder foundation for a while. Ever since I was disappointed with Fenty's, I just wanted to find the one for me because I love the idea of a quick one and done type of product, especially for everyday wear. One thing I hate about drugstore products are these little tape sealers. They're so annoying to remove. And then moreover, a lot of them actually say the shade name on the tape. So stupid. All right, so I've got four shades here. We've got Radiant Sand. We 
We've got sand, it's regular sand. We've got radiant honey and golden sun. Ooh, I'm not really sure which one of these is my exact shade. I am a huge fan of the original L'Oreal Freshwear foundation, the liquid one. I have this one here as well. It's a really, really, really lovely foundation. Probably my favorite from the drugstore. I actually did a video on this foundation years ago and at the time I said that this was the best drugstore foundation. I still stand by those words. So my expectations for this powder foundations are very high. Let's test out some shades because I'm not really sure exactly what shade I am. They all seem very close to me and my skin tone. So I guess let's just start from the lightest and then go all the way down to the deepest. Okay, so here we have 220 sand. I'm gonna test on my neck today. Okay, 220 sand on my neck looks a pinch too red. Next we have 245 radiant honey, which actually looks lighter than sand. So I think this might be my shade. Let's try this, radiant honey. Oh, definitely a lot more yellow. Looks like a way better match, or is it? Radiant sand, 250. Here we come, is it? I don't know if it's it. They're close, but they're not quite it. Okay, and let's try 260 golden sun. Definitely not. I'm thinking I'm between these two here, the radiant honey and the radiant sand. This one looks like the closest match. That was what? It was Radiant Honey, wasn't it? All right, so what I'm gonna do is attempt to apply this with the included sponge applicator. And then I'm also gonna try applying it with a foundation brush. This one is from Fenty. It's very dense, but I feel like it might be good for packing on some powder. So I'm just gonna keep it handy here. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit. All right, bangs, I'm gonna need you to take a back seat for a sec. Whoa, that is looking really, really saturated on me. I don't think I love that at all. I am so confused right now. Let me now go ahead and try a little bit of this radiance in. My skin is so much lighter than my neck because the skin on my face is so damaged from years of picking on my acne and using bad products and bleaching my skin. Lord God, I did that. <sighs> So now it like doesn't even know which way to go. It tans really easily, but in the winter, it just gets this really weird blushed undertone and it's so pale compared to the rest of me. All right, let's test out this radiant sand. I think radiant sand is it. I think this is better. It's kind of like in between my neck and my face. Okay, this is what I'm gonna proceed with. The coverage so far is really good. It's impressive. All right, let's try that with the foundation brush. Really, really lovely. I feel like the shade match isn't perfect. It's not as good as the Fenty 290 is for me, but it's not that off. And I think I'll be able to make it work with all the other products. The coverage I will say is medium, not super duper full. I do have a pretty significant dark spot around here from two pimples, one of which has not even reared its ugly head just yet. It's kind of like hiding underneath layers of skin and another one that's a old acne scar. So this section here is a little bit difficult for me to cover up, but I'm going in with light strokes and I'm just tapping on the product as opposed to gliding it like the way that I'm doing everywhere else. All right, I'm gonna apply some to my forehead as well, just like that. And overall, I gotta say, it's giving me a pretty healthy skin finish. It's not emphasizing my pores too much. It's not emphasizing any dry patches because I do always use my Murad Retinol the night before I film. So that does give me like a slight peeling to the skin, but this product isn't clinging onto any of those patches and it seems to be smoothing everything. So far, I like the application. Now let's compare this side of the face to this other side of the face. Huh, I like it. I like what I see. It's not perfect, but we can work with it. I'm gonna quickly just buff this onto the other side of my face. Got some acne scars here, so let's see how well it works here. Pretty good. So I took my time applying that product. I can't say it was like the smoothest application ever, but it wasn't too difficult. So far, I like it, and I'm gonna definitely give it a couple more tries. I'm gonna see how this wears, of course, and I'll keep you updated. All these other shades are no bueno, so they are going to be set aside. But this guy I'm keeping in my tray right here. This is my keeper tray. Okay, next up, we've got concealers. So we have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer Concealer and a bunch of like darker shades than 
their powder foundation counterparts. I feel like this isn't gonna give me the kind of brightening that I want for my under eye. Instead, I think I'm gonna go for another drugstore concealer from this big old PR package from Milani. So this is the supercharged collection, powered with ginseng and citrus extract, turmeric, squalane, aloe vera, hyaluronic acid. Okay, I love all that. We've got some brightening under eye tints. They look like that. I have three shades here, peach, deep peach, and pink. Pink is like really pink and really pale, so I don't think this is gonna be a go for me. Deep peach looks like it's a good color corrector, but a pinch dark, so the peach 120 is gonna be the one that I'm gonna go for. All right, cute, so it's a squeezy tube. Reminds me of Lancome. Feels very, very liquidy. Let's see. Uh, maybe a little too liquidy for what I'm trying to do here, but this product did dry down really, really quickly. Was not expecting that. I wouldn't say it's super full coverage. Kind of on the sheer side, actually, not even medium. But it does have some light reflecting properties, which sometimes can compensate for lack of pigment because they almost give you that optical illusion, like they reflect light. But I don't know, I'm gonna need a little bit more coverage than this. I can't say this is impressing me much just yet. It's cute, it feels light, but it's not a game changer. Mmm, this L'Oreal Infallible more than concealer though. Hmm. Huh. I feel like this shade right here, 375 Latte, I think this might be like a really good foundation match for me. It's just like the right amount of all the right undertones. I'm gonna just tap that out. Oh, that looks really, really good. Really good, not brightening, definitely more like skin matching, but nice and clingy to the skin and clingy in a good way, not in a bad way. I'm gonna actually use a little bit of this concealer to patch up this dark spot that I have here. Just like that. This spot has been bothering me for like two weeks already, you guys. It's been such a drag. All right, I'm gonna take this little brush, just a Sephora brush, blending concealer, and kind of just stipple that. Where's that dark spot though? Hmm? Where does she go? Do you see it? I don't. Well, I love the fact that this concealer works really nicely over the powder. Kind of want to test it out a little more. All right, I got a couple of these like little moles, I guess. Shit, I took the wrong shade. Not pecan girl, latte. Although pecan looks a little pinky. Might be nice for brightening. All right, let's just mix those two together. Concealer's pretty nice. I'm gonna give it another shot. All right, so for my under eye setting powder, I don't really have like a translucent setting powder from the drugstore just yet, but what I do have is something even more exciting than a translucent setting powder. I have the new Pixi X Promise Fawn Shapeshifter Palette, which includes contour shades, bronzer shades, highlighter shades, and some brighteners. So I am going to dip into this very light yellowish shade. And I'm gonna test it out. I'm really, really excited to try the new Pixie Pretties collections from this year. Okay, the shade that I grabbed might be just a pinch too yellow for what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna go for the lighter shade now. I'm gonna add that on top. Ooh, that is really light now. Okay, but it works. Did you see that brighten? Yes, Promise. I don't know if I've ever said this before on my YouTube channel, but Promise Fawn was actually one of the YouTubers who inspired me to start my own blog and to start this whole beauty and makeup journey. So the fact that we have both collabed with Pixie is really pretty amazing to me because Promise is definitely one of those beauty bloggers, one of those OGs that is such a massive inspiration to me. And she's also just such a cool girl. She's so warm and she's so infectious with her positive energy. I just love her. So I'm really, really excited for her collab with Pixie. Congratulations to both Pixie and to Promise on this palette. This powder is really, really soft and it's absolutely perfect for what I'm doing right now. It's giving me a slight brighten and also a set. And I'm just going back and forth between that really pale shade and also the yellowish shade, kind of just overlapping them. And I'm gonna tap that right over the dark spot to just color correct it a bit and conceal it even further. I'm also gonna use that same mixture to just set my top lid for my eyeshadow application, which will soon follow, just like that. All right, and also I'm gonna reach in between my eyebrows. This is a spot that always tends to get very, very oily on me, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of powder, brighten it, and set it. And forget it. So for my bronzer today, I'm gonna reach for another palette. This one is from Physicians Formula. It's called All Star Face Palette. So this palette has a matte bronzer. It has a butter bronzer, which seems like a little bit shimmery. It has a super duper bright, like almost silvery highlighter. And then a gold one. We have a blush and then we have a 
powder pressed palette. All of these look very much on the paler scale to me. So I don't know if this will necessarily work as a bronzer for my skin tone. It's just like a little too close to my actual skin tone. All right, I'll try it. I'm gonna use this Luxie angled brush, dip into that matte. Ooh, very powdery. Also, this is very fragrant. It smells nice. I'm gonna start adding that. Oh, it's actually a really lovely color. Oh. So if you're a light to medium skin tone, this might be a really, really good bronzer for you. Like, I don't think I could wear this in the summertime, but right now, when my skin is at its palest, this is giving me a really lovely, believable, sun-kissed kind of glow. And it's matte, so I love that for me. Just brush that into my hairline, maybe also on my ears. Just like kiss and hug my cheekbones, like so. A bit across the face. Fragrant, but pretty. Light, not too much, so definitely wearable. I'm gonna try the butter bronzer real quick too. This one is even paler, but it has a little bit more shimmer, so I'm just gonna see how that works together, if it adds any luminosity. Oh yeah, I see it. That's cute. Okay, I'm gonna see if maybe I can dip into a couple more of those shades from the Physicians Formula All Star, but for now, I am going to move on to my blush and to my glow. For that, I am very, very excited to whip out another Pixie Pretty collaboration between Pixie and my girl, Makeup by Denise. Woot woot! So this palette right here is called Mind Your Own Glow, Find the Light, and it is a collection of glowy powders specifically for your cheeks. You could probably also use these on the eyes, so there's lots and lots to choose from in terms of cheek colors and also highlighters. I love the fact that it's keeping in mind all different skin tones, so there's definitely a range of colors in here. Very excited to dip my brush into this. I don't have a blush brush, so I'm gonna use this ice cream cone brush from Tarte. I'm gonna dip into this rosy shade here just because it's pretty. The brush is so huge, so I kinda gotta be careful with how I pick up the color. Okay, I need a different brush altogether. I'm gonna use my highlighter brush now. This one is from Fenty. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the same shade. Oh yes, much better, much better. Ooh, you guys, the luminosity. Ooh, this is so, so stunning, so, so stunning. The fact that it has this really beautiful pinky undertone, but then it has like a layer of gold on top of it makes it very, Lux looking, I am obsessed. And I know Pixie isn't necessarily like a drugstore, drugstore type of brand. They are available at Target, but they are also available at certain CVS stores and also certain Walgreens. So it's not a Sephora brand, you know? All right, let's go ahead and apply that to the other side. Oh, so subtle yet so gorgeous. You know what? I feel like I wanna dip into a highlighter from this palette as well, just because it's going to be more seamless. So I'm gonna go for, oh, I don't know. Maybe this shade here for just like, a beaming ray of light. Ooh, so necessary. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, the glow. Gorgeous. I'm just gonna, you know, go ahead and highlight my whole face away. But I don't know, with such a matte powder finish foundation, I think you can easily go heavy on the highlighter and just highlight all the high points of your face just to like bring life back to your complexion because with a matte finish, everything tends to really flatten out. So the fact that I had this handy for the blush and for the highlighter is super awesome. I'm loving how everything is looking. And once again, congratulations to Denise and to Pixie. I cannot wait to use this even more. Damn, she is looking healthy today. Hi, where are you going? For my eyes, I have another Pixie Pretties palette and it is in collaboration with Tina Young. And Tina Young is someone who I actually met on a Pixie trip. She's really awesome. She is a big YouTuber. And this palette, I am literally mesmerized by. It is so, so stunning. Like I love the fact that it's mainly neutral, but it has these just like really punchy pops of color. Like this orange is stunning, this teal, this mint, pinky shades, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I don't have a primer like I said before, but it's okay. I put some powder on my lids. So what I'm gonna do is pick up this Mario brush, E3. Before I dip into this palette, I'm gonna go back into the Physician's Formula All Star. I'm gonna use this matte bronzer to bring everything together and kind of just like chisel out my eye socket, you know, bring a little bit of that golden tone to my lids. Remember how I said this shade felt very, very powdery to me? Yeah, it still does. There's a lot of fallout, but it flicks off easily. I also don't really love the fact that I just applied it right here. It's adding like a little too much yellowness, but that's okay, I will fix it. 
Love that. And now back to Tina's palette. I'm gonna grab a slightly darker shade. I'm gonna go for this milk chocolate looking shade. Oh, these have names. So if this is a mirror image, then this shade is called Snug. So I'm gonna dip into Snug. And what I'm gonna do here is basically just shade my outer lid, just a pinch. Perfect. Really, really sultry. I love this shade. And I think it makes that first bronzer shade work a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna keep flicking this outwards just to give my eye a little lift like that. And then I'm gonna go for something a little bit more shimmery. I'm gonna dip into this champagne-y looking shade. This one is called Gleam. Oh my, this is blinding. Picks up beautifully. I'm gonna add that to the center of my lid. A little pop. I love that. Gorgeous. And look at the difference between this eye and this eye now. This one suddenly looks so much brighter and so much more awake because the technique of adding a reflective shimmery shade to the center of the lid always makes your eye whites a little bit more brighter looking. So it's like the trick for more awake looking eyes. The opposite of that is lining your waterline with a black pencil. That will in fact highlight any redness that you have in your eyes. So don't do it if you're hungover like I was yesterday. Next, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna pick up this Huda Beauty liner brush. Why do I say brush with such an emphasis on the sh? I've noticed that in my own videos. Is that satisfying or is that too much? I think I'm gonna go for this shimmery. This looks like a plummy, maroony type of purple. That would be shout out. And what I'm gonna do with this shade is actually use it as a liner. I'm gonna line my entire lash line. Yup, this is perfect for what I was going for. I'm gonna extend that out like that. Do the same thing on the other eye. I've really been loving brown liner lately. Feels very, very fresh easy and not super dramatic. So you can go for a much more dramatic liner shape with a brown than you can with a black and still kind of call your makeup daytime. I feel like this is giving me like Bella Hadid vibes. <laughs> Am I wrong? I'm gonna extend my inner corner in Bella Hadid style using whatever's remaining on the brush. Just like outline this inner corner a little bit, keeping it small, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna add just a little bit of that liner to the outer edge and then blur that with my finger. So I don't want it to be harsh, just like that. I'm gonna take the other end of this liner brush by Huda Beauty. Might I add, this is a really nice brush for what I'm doing and what I'm about to do. I'm gonna go back to the Physicians Formula All-Star Palette and I'm going to dip this spongy side into this really crazy looking, whoa, my brush just like actually stained this highlighter. What? What? Huh? Look at this. I think this silver thing is actually a coating on this highlighter. I'm gonna take whatever's on my pinky and just plop that to the center of the lid for, whoa, for a bang. Whoa, did you see that? That is looking really bright. And I love that for me. That's cool. And I'm also going to highlight right about that little triangle ever so slightly, just like that. Just like that. Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my brow bone, but not too much, not too much. Just like a smidgy poo, because I don't want this to be like too, too glam, you know? I still want it to be a little tamed. I am glad I didn't apply that to my cheekbone. That would have been a lot. I'm gonna take my Mario brush and just kind of diffuse all of this gorgeousness just a bit, like that. I'm gonna go back with another darker shade, maybe this one. It's like a taupey darker shade. I'm gonna go back in with this one and add a pinch more dimension to that eye right here and right here. Here. Love that for me. And then whatever's remaining on the brush, I'm just gonna squeeze this brush so that I have like a finer edge. I'm gonna run that through my lower lash line. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I do have a new mascara to test out and it is from Rimmel. It's called Wonder Extension Lash Extension Effect Mascara. We'll see. It's not a waterproof formula. I don't know if it'll work on me. I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Laura Mercier Lash Curler, which is not from the drugstore, but it is the absolute best lash curler there is, in my very humble opinion. This is like my desert island lash curler. If I could take a lash curler to a deserted island, and it's the only lash curler that I can actually use to curl my lower lashes. No other ones work. Ooh, this is inky, look at this. Wow, mascara siglia, effetto extension. Not sure what that means, I think it's Italian. Ah, oh, I guess this is a fiber mascara. Ooh, I don't know how my lashes will feel about that. I mean, it's cute, it's okay. Definitely feels a little waxy to me, almost like the NYX brow glue, but it is adhering some fibers, so I guess that's nice. I don't think this is for me, personally. But I can see people liking this one, just not me. It is adding a bit of a spidery effect to my lower lashes, and it's also a bit harder to apply now that I've curled my lower lashes. I'm gonna need to clean it up real quick. 
And now I think I need falsies. So I don't have any new falsies from the drugstore, but I do have my Ardell Wispies collection over here, which are sold at the drugstore. So I'm just gonna go for a style that I've already used before, which are the Double Demi Wispies. Basically just a thicker and slightly fuller version of the regular Wispies and also flared, which is why it's called Demi. Can't remember the last time I used these, but I definitely have worn this pair before. There's some old AF lash glue on this false lash. Ooh, like just much, much, better a subtle lash but it makes a difference for me i kind of love that it's kind of exactly what i was going for i'm gonna wait for these lashes to dry then i'm gonna curl them one more time maybe add another coat of mascara we'll see for now i'm ready to move on to the lips for the lips we have lots of products i'm gonna have to whip out this entire tray that i have of all these new lip products we got a bunch of stuff from pop beauty some permanent pout products some lip glosses. But what I'm really, really curious about is this new collection of lippies from Maybelline. In my opinion, Maybelline is a drugstore brand that excels at lipsticks. They also are really great at foundations, but I think L'Oreal beats them just by a notch. But when it comes to lipsticks, I always go for Maybelline drugstore lipsticks. They're just so great. So they sent me this Ultimate Matte Color Sensational Matte Lipstick. They also sent this gorgeous designer sweater that I must show you. It's so, so cute. Yes, 1-800-BOYS-LIE. So thank you for that Maybelline. I was gonna wear it today, but I felt like orange was gonna clash with my backdrop, you know? These lippies look really, really promising. I'm just gonna swatch a couple on the back of my hand. This one here is called More Ruby. Like a stunning, stunning red. Look at that. High pigment, really nice packaging too, minus the sticker. But you know what? If you hate the sticker so much, you could remove the sticker because this product actually has the shade name on the bottom. So I'm gonna test another shade. This one is called More Rust. Ooh, like just beautiful. I need that. It's gonna go in my Save It tray. More Scarlet. Oh boy, I'm trying not to hoard any more makeup, but this is so nice. I'm gonna do just a couple more. More Taupe, Perfection. More Buff. Clearly a winner. More truffle. Ooh, give me truffle. Need I say more? I mean, okay, I'm just gonna test out the rest of the shades. More berry, more mauve, more blush. And the final one being more magenta. This is definitely not a magenta though, more like a watermelon color. Part coral, part pink, not magenta. So for today's look, I'm kind of in between the taupe and the truffle. Not really sure which one would look best. Both are really, really pretty. <laughs> I can't decide. Okay, maybe I'll go for both. I'm gonna go in with the truffle first. Yeah, just like sort of lining my lips with this first darker shade. It's gorgeous. Ooh, matte yet super creamy. So it also feels nourishing, I would say. And I'm gonna add just a bit of taupe to the center of my lips. Mm, for a bit of a contoured ombre action. Not too much, it's very, very subtle, but I really did like mixing these two colors. I feel like it created a very flattering brownie sort of lip shade. All right, some of these did stain my hand just a little bit. I think it was those more red magenta shades. All right, so that is the look. I am noticing one thing about the powder foundation though that I must mention before I sign off. I'm noticing that my oils are already starting to seep through. That is rather fast. It only took me about an hour to finish this makeup, but I'm already seeing the center of my face, not any of the parts where I applied the highlighter, just the center of the face where I did not apply anything but this infallible powder. Seeing it a little more dewy than I like, and I'm even seeing in my monitor that my pores look slightly enhanced. So that to me is uh, slightly problematic, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of this powder and try to, I guess, like reseal it back in. Oh yeah, you definitely see that. Once I added the powder on top, the pores went away and the skin looks a lot smoother. So this tells me that my oily AF skin is not loving this powder foundation. I don't know how long this is going to last, but I will definitely update you in the comment section. But the fact that it's only been an hour and I'm already starting to see my oils is a little much for me to say the least. I don't know about you, but I like my foundation to at least last me five hours, at least five hours before before I get to touch up. Anything under that is 
not workable. It's just unreasonable to me. We're going to uh, investigate this and we're definitely gonna come back with a verdict. All right, you guys, so this is the final face using all new drugstore makeup releases. So let's kind of quickly go over everything just to summarize. I think the marshmallow primer felt kind of nice, didn't feel too different. I'm not really sure why it's going viral on TikTok. Maybe it's because it's affordable, but I don't really see a game changer there. I don't get it. But I definitely have to test it out a couple more times with different products just to see if there is in fact a difference. This infallible Freshwear foundation powder will be investigated further and I will come back with a much more comprehensive sort of verdict for that product. The supercharged brightening under eye tint from Milani. I thought these were just meh, just like kind of sheer for an under eye concealer, like a little too sheer. Definitely felt cooling on the under eye. It's formulated with a bunch of great ingredients, hyaluronic acid, plant-based collagen, niacinamide, caffeine, all of that sounds great, but I need coverage from a concealer. I have my skincare that I use underneath and also at night so I'm good on that. I got that covered. I need actual coverage though. Mm, moving right along to the infallible concealer from L'Oreal. This was a really promising product. I liked how I was able to cover up my dark spot over here. And that by the way, was the only place that didn't really get oily. So that tells me that this is probably long wearing and it can probably offer a little bit more than just a concealer. I'm gonna try out the lighter shade next time just to see if it does any brightening for my under eye. For today, I tried the shade that was close to my skin tone and I liked it. Next up from Physicians Formula, the All Star Face Palette. Although very fragrant and very much on the lighter spectrum, so not everyone can get use out of it, but if you are a lighter skin tone or even medium like myself, you could probably get somewhere out of this uh, bronzer and these highlighters here. This one was really unique and different. I'm not even sure if it belongs in this palette because everything else seems very subdued, but it's there. So not something that I'm super, super excited for, but I'll definitely use it again. Now the highlights of today's testing new makeup were definitely these Pixie Pretty palettes from Denise from Promise and from Tina Young. There is actually another influencer that they collab with on a blush and lip palette. I didn't get a chance to try it out today because I had something else in mind for my lips, but I will test it in another video. All of these were really great, really easy to use, and I will definitely be reaching for them again. So congrats to Pixie and to the ladies for this awesome collaboration. I love it. Moving on to the Rimmel Wonder Extension Mascara. Not my thing, but I can see some people liking it. It's not really easy to use for me. I don't also don't think that it made a huge difference in my lashes. I think my uh, Mizon Collagen Fix is way better. Not ruling it out, it's just not for me. Not keeping it. And now onto what is probably my favorite new drugstore product, the Ultimate Ultimate Correction Lipstick from Maybelline. These swatched and applied brilliantly. Beautifully, flawlessly, matte but not sticky, matte but not drying, nourishing, feels very hydrating on the lips. I can still talk, I can still do my little duck face, you know, it's not suffocating. The colors are all really, really rich and just flattering and stunning. If you can get your hands on these, definitely get your hands on some of these shades. Collect them all or just grab a couple. But I really like this combo that I came up with. I think it's very me. It's very wearable and I love it. So with that said, stay tuned for my faves X fails for the month and definitely ask me any questions and ask me any follow-up questions about some of these products. Ask me how they wore and I will let you know. For now, I am going to zoom on out so that you can click on my next two videos. One that you may like and my most recent video in case you haven't watched it. I love you guys, I will see you in the next one.